eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Fight, robots fight. Necromancer built by Zach Randy, uh, who uh, who is here with his friend from the University of Buffalo, but it looks like the weapon on the Necromancer is dead. Dead on arrival. Nice. Will this be an opportunity for Casey to come in and capitalize and start cutting apart the top of this robot? It's quite possible. And what Casey needs to do is uh, work together with uh, the other Casey and uh, pin the Necromancer so that uh, he can come down with this big hammer saw. I think it's just the saw saw. I don't know. I think really. everything's now a hammer saw, Kyle. Now that's a good pin! There we go! Good shower of sparks there. It wow. moves very slowly. I think that Rip and Tear might be uh, qualifying for the 12-pound bracket in December. Wow. I think you might be right. I mean, like, they have been going through this loser's bracket. Incredible, and wow. look at that. Wow. Just sinking that hammer saw straight into the top of the Necromancer. There is just so little any type of drum can do against that kind of armor. Well, there's so little that a drum can do if the drum is dead, Chris. Look at this. The Necromancer's drum is totally down. This is the luck of the bracket. They've faced uh, opponents that uh, they've been able to defeat here. Well, I mean, your bot's gonna have a little bit more longevity when it's packed in about five pounds of packing foam. <laughs> yeah, that's true, that is true. I mean, honestly, you could ship this bot as <laughs> is right. to China. <laughs> yeah, just throw that in a cardboard box. <laughs> ship, it. ship it anywhere you want in the world. And it'll come out totally ready to go. Probably yeah, the battery can go. stay charged. All right, let's see if, uh, if, they can, if they can get around. But it looks like the Necromancer has successfully pinned Rip. They're up against the corner. And uh, there is nothing that Casey can do here. Oh, there's good pushing power from the Necromancer. Really is. And staying behind uh, Rip is the best way to, uh, to get away from that saw and also get the pin. 30 seconds left here in this fight. I am uh, somewhat sad about all of the foam all over the box that we're not getting from this fight that we could have gotten. Because Necromancer's weapon is sadly. Wow, there we go. Now, is that a good pin or was that a good attack? Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. That's the end of the match. This goes the full three minutes. This will go to the judges. It certainly will. Amazing. And if the judges choose the wrong one, the internet will be very angry. So please choose the right one. Thank you. Diana, let's go ahead and start with you. Yeah. The Necromancer versus Rip and Tear. Your thoughts. Um, I'm going to have to go with Rip and Tear on this one. They got some good hits with their weapon. And so there it is. Fair All enough. Right. How about you, Jack? Your thoughts? Yeah, I'm also going to go with Rip and Tear, but it's a lot closer than it really should have been. Yeah. yeah. The Necromancer have got some really good pushes and pins in, and they, really they were did. relatively aggressive as well, but yeah, ultimately, on damage and actual uses of their weapon, it needs to go to uh, Rip and Tear. Yep, agree with All that. All right. Don, take us home. Your thoughts? Yep, it's gonna be rip and tear. All right, and we've got a two unanimous win. Got a unanimous judge's decision for rip and tear, which advances in the losers bracket. The Necromancer will be headed back to Rochester.